Okay, today we're back uh, continuing the boiler repair I had for this um, small lock of our pool heater. Uh, we're doing the TMP. Doing the TMP valve. This one's pretty much welded shut, so you got to get that in there. And then uh, I got this high temp limit I got to put in. My TMP, the high temp limit. Got to get that taken care of, and then I also have the temp controller I have to take care of. A new temp controller. So let's get the TMP and the high limit in, and then I'll get this thing apart to get the temp controller out, and then make sure the temp is right. But do that really quick and get it going. Also, I'm going to replace this, this air vent too. The air vent hasn't been replaced in years, so I'll replace that one. Alright, we got the, the high temp limit in. The TMP, I got to, I don't have, uh, I got to put a tube on this down, but I don't have it today. I'm going to be back up here anyways. So we got that all wired up. Got my new air vent in here. I'm just bleeding the air out of the system now to uh, so I don't dry fire this unit. Um, if we start dry firing these copper fin boilers, they they can run into problems. They'll steam off and blow the heat exchanger out really quick. So you got to make sure you get all the air out of it. Um, so let's get into this temp controller. This is going to be uh, pretty fun just because, you know, I got all this wire. It's never been changed, so I got all this wire that's uh, coiled up, so I got to sort that out. And that's for high fire and temp controller. So let me get into that, and then we'll go from there. As I'm working on the temp controller, I heard something, you know, like some water moving or whatever it was, but I noticed, yeah, that's why the TMP valve went bad, because the pressure's too high, the pressure's right around, it's running 32 PSI, so I gotta turn this reducing valve down, so that's why the other TMP went bad, hopefully the PRV isn't bad and I can adjust it, so let's see what happens.
for a minute. See what this PRV does, see if it overfeeds. Uh, then I'll come back and adjust it. Right now we're at, we're at 15 PSI, so we'll give it a minute. Let me finish up this temp controller. I got the controller in, which is this controller right here. That's a bear to get to. And then uh, I got to put the thermometer in here and the heat exchanger. So let me get that done. And then we'll play around with this uh, PRV pressure. Yeah, I wasn't having PRV issues. I was having expansion tank issues. Someone at one time put a new expansion tank on here. And what they did is they put a 100 psi set tank on there. So no matter what, I'm not going to be able to get the right pressure. I'm always going to blow the TMP because what kind of teed me off to it is I'm looking at a three-quarter fitting up here. Any boiler expansion tanks usually is a uh, half inch. So let me get this tank off, see if it's any good, and uh, get this thing down to 12 psi. You can use that tank, but you got to change the pressure got to come down to 12 psi. Uh, every time I get into this boiler it's something else that someone has screwed up on this boiler. And I also got to get this fan off. It's filthy. Because I was also running into pressure switch issues again and, and part of the problem is this fan. So let me get this thing apart. And then I'll see if I got a tire pressure gauge. I'm not into heating season yet, you know, so don't have all the stuff I really need on the truck for boilers. Okay, let me go from there. Just another day at this wonderful boiler call. Well, we got to get the tank changed out basically it's flat that's why my pressure keeps on going up so I'll be back tomorrow with the tank and I'll get the down tube for the TMP other than that I got the temp controller put in that was a bear got my fan cleaned out that was another bear couldn't get the wheel off I had to just blow it out with CO2 and uh, use a brush but I'll just continue this video tomorrow and uh, yeah, we got the new air vent in. So right now they're not going to have heat for the dehumidification system, and at least they'll dehumidify. So I don't think we're going to need too much heat, just due to the fact it's so uh, warm outside right now. I mean, we're running. 85 degrees so and the humidity is pretty stable I had the door open so I'm not sucking air across the sensor so it's, it's slowly climbing up it's at 40 49% right now so but I'll continue this video tomorrow okay we're back today as you see I got rid of uh this expansion tank, which was the wrong expansion tank for uh, this application. This is a hundred, uh, let's see, maximum working pressure, test pressure. Yeah, this, this one was for a uh, potable water system. I don't even know what this was set at. I think it I think it was set at 100 PSI, but that was on our uh, that was on our boiler. Now I'm keeping proper 
pressure, I'm right around 15 pounds of pressure. That's where I should be. So, let's uh, get this thing started up and see how she runs. Got my fan cleaned yesterday. So what we'll do is, yeah, there we go. The nighter's on. It's running better than it was. Got the get the valves. Well, I got the pool heater open, so kind of getting dissipating some heat there. But still running at a hundred and. 70, let's see, 75, let's see I got it set for 70 that's where we really need to be and it's working a lot better than it was before before it would run up to 200 and shut down so we were riding on that high limit control but it's running a lot better than it was before so that kind of concludes this one. We just need to get that expansion tank out in there. We did the TMP valve. We did the high limit. We did the temp control. Cleaned out the blower fan. The inducer motor. This thing's running good now. So, Alright, that, that concludes it. Like and subscribe.